Hello. This book is called Paddington at the Palace. So I think you remember who Paddington is. He's that bear. And he's in England. So all these things are happening in England. England is a lot like America, but it's a little different. One morning, Paddington and Mr. Gruber set out to see the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. Did you know that England has a queen and they have a palace? So they have a guard at the palace. Okay, Mr. Gruber took his camera. Paddington took a flag on a stick in case he saw the queen. And they both sat in the front seat of the bus so that they could see all the places of interest along the way. Look, there's an English policeman. That's what they look like over there. The bus took them most of the way. Then they had to walk through St. James Park. It was a lovely sunny morning and there were flowers everywhere. I think I may pick some for the queen, said Mr. Said Paddington. I'm afraid that's against the law, said Mr. Gruber. This is what is known as a royal park, and all the flowers belong to the queen anyway. Besides, it would spoil it for others. If you like, I'll take a picture of your, for your scrapbook instead. Fancy having a front garden as big as this, said Paddington. I wonder if she has to mow the lawn. <laughs> Do you think the queen had to mow the lawn? I don't think so. Mr. Gruber laughed and then as they drew near some large gates, he pointed towards the roof to a building behind them. We're in Luck's way, Mr. Brown, he said. There's a flag flying. That means the queen is at home. Paddington peered through the railings and waved his own flag several times just in case the queen was watching. I think I saw someone at the windows, Mr. Gruber, he called excitedly. Do you think it was the queen? Who knows, said Mr. Gruber. Soon afterwards, they heard the sound of a band playing. The music got louder and louder, and there was a lot of shouting and clump, clump, clump of marching feet. <gasps> But by then there were so many people, Paddington couldn't see a thing. Where is Paddington? Oh, there he is. He's right over here. And he couldn't see a thing. Mr. Gruber wondered whether he ought to suggest holding Paddington up to sea. But in the end, he bought him a periscope instead. If you look through the bottom end, he explained, you can see over the top of people's heads. Paddington tried it out, but all he could see were other people's faces, and he didn't think much of some of those. <clears throat> In the end, he tried crawling through the legs of the crowd, but by the time he got to the other side, the band had passed by. Oh, look, there he is. <clears throat> look, said a small boy pointing at Paddington. One of the soldiers has dropped his hat. It's what they call a busby, dear, said Miss, said, said his mother. Paddington jumped to his feet. I'm not a busby, he cried. I'm a bear. Gradually, the crowd melted away until there were only a few people left. Oh, dear, said Mr. Gruber. It's all over, and I didn't even get a picture of you with one of the guardsmen. I didn't even see them said Paddington sadly. Just then a man in a bowler hat said something to a policeman by the gate and then pointed towards Paddington and Mr. Gruber. The policeman beckoned to them. I've got instructions to invite you inside so that you can take a proper photograph, he called. You're very honored. Wow. Wow.
Paddington felt the most important as he and Mr. Gruber followed the policeman across the palace parade ground and the guard came to attention. <gasps> I think he said as he stood to attention while Mr. Gruber took a photograph. This guard is so good, he doesn't need changing. <laughs> As they left the palace, Paddington stopped by the gates to wave his flag. Do you think it was the queen looking out of the window when we first came, he asked. It was either the queen, said Mr. Gruber, or it was someone who likes bears very much. And he took one last picture for Paddington's scrapbook. You must mark the window with a cross when you paste it in, just in case. Me at the palace. And there's the window. And that's the end of the